Hi everybody, my name is David Whitley and I'm from Kitchener, Ontario and we're going to talk a little bit about the mural I painted for the children and the families of Waterloo Region and uh, it's here in Stanley Park area of Kitchener on River Road. The first picture that we had on there that has a picture of some running shoes and it looks like a black and white photograph uh, on the grass where there's uh, dandelions and that to me represented uh, the beginning of spring when my friends and I, we could take off our winter boots and our parents, you know, my mom let me wear my running shoes. The camel picture that I get a lot of comments on. Uh, people think I'm kind of crazy with that one, but for me, that's the main picture that I, I really want people to just sort of uh, come up with their own idea. What does this mean? Why, why did the artist choose to do this? For me, um, it, it means that time of when you're try when you're going off to sleep when you're tired and you're drifting between wakefulness and dreams and you're aware that you're falling asleep sea serpent i remember as a as a teenager young teenager i remember just loving snorkeling that's such a cool world you know to be able to see above the water and below so that sort of represents summertime and and the middle of july when when uh, when you it's so hot and you just want to go out and and swim with your friends and your family and, and uh, there's a scuba there's a scuba panda is what we call it my son has a, a web show called scuba panda when a kid's having a, you know their bath before they have to go to bed those toys are real to them they mean you know this is a this is this is imagination this is fun time it's time to to dream and to to uh, to to play. I think that children know that when they look at this image, they know that it's not a real elephant. They know that it's it's part of the imagination. I think that's a really important thing. The arguing children. There's cars. One's a jeep, like an army jeep, and the other one is uh, is kind of like a just a regular car. And it was kind of my nod to or my way of saying, why are they fighting? There's more. There's better things to do in life. And there's the two, the two uh, the images of the boy sitting on, on the back of the, the two vehicles. One's drawing or painting and the other one is uh, reading a book. So they're using their imaginations and they're creating uh, worlds of their own. Bigfoot was always a big, really a fascination with me as a child and even as an adult. I mean, I, it's, it's a fascinating subject. The big dinosaur roller coaster it, is this friendly dinosaur that at night, in the evening, I remember going to uh, amusement parks and, and, you know, seeing the rides and, and that whole feeling of uh, excitement at nighttime. The tortoise and the hare was the one story that, for me, to just keep going, you know, no matter what, no matter how, how other people or other things are, seem like they're progressing better or they're, you know, you're getting beaten in the race to just keep on going. The uh, running shoes with stepping in the gum. In the spring, your shoes are fresh and they've got their energy and, and you're excited and uh, you're, you feel like you can run and jump. By the end of the summer, your shoes are, they're old and they're falling apart and you step in gum or something worse. Every child put a cape around their neck and put a little safety pin or a some kind of a pin and ran around and pretended to be a superhero and I think that's that's so important to to pretend when you're young and when you get older too why not it's just a pumpkin skeleton kind of a scarecrow sort of a character that represents Halloween uh, so far we're getting a lot of good feedback a lot of people are saying that they enjoy the mural I see kids running up and down you know looking at different things and saying what they like and, and and that's what it means to me. When we unveiled the mural, uh, a little boy, maybe three years old, he walked up to where there was some popcorn that I'd painted and he grabbed a piece and he turned around and handed it to his dad. And then he grabbed another piece and the two of them ate the pretend popcorn. And to me, that says it all. A father and his son interacting about something imaginary and fun and lighthearted and colorful and that's where that's what we wanted to do.